Bitcoin Cash, guys. Let's talk some Bitcoin Cash. We're going to talk about some Ethereum. We're going to talk about some Doge as well. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Vlad and I cover a multitude of different topics ranging from cryptocurrency, stock investments, entrepreneurship, and how to run a successful moving company. Additionally, I also do a bunch of product reviews. Um, that being said, guys, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, it's early over here in Boston, about 8 a.m. and I have a long day, so I just want to get right to it. I want to give you guys all the good content that I can. Um, but basically, yeah, so, you know, crypto has been kind of on a, on an incline recently and uh, yesterday, uh we know we saw almost like a flash dip um in the afternoon and i really have no explanation for this i've been doing some research and i can't really find any news articles i can't find anything political i can't find anything really that's you know leading to these dips and i just i'm looking to find an explanation but um if we go into it so bitcoin cash obviously you guys know that's the heart and soul of the channel but yesterday it dipped down to under into the 1200s actually um and, and this is off robin hood if actually if i go to coinbase uh i believe it's actually uh that is a more accurate number um and we got let's see our lowest low was $1,198.84 at 4.05 yesterday. So right around market close yesterday. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure what the catalyst for this was, but I mean, it could be a lot of people just taking their profits and just, you know, finally liquidating. Um, because if you invested in Bitcoin Cash or Ether, uh, you know, November of last year, I mean, you're sitting on some some money and you don't necessarily have a guarantee that it's going to blow up if you don't have the knowledge that a lot of us who are talking about cryptocurrency uh, do. And you're going to want to liquidate. You're going to, you know, you're going to see a nice car that you want to buy. You're going to see, you know, something that you want to purchase and you have the money for it, but you don't have the liquidity until you, you make that crypto into cash. And, you know, it's tempting. And, you know, I still feel for the people who are selling. I mean, you know, you're losing a lot in the long run. But I understand it. So, I mean, the only thing I can really attribute this to is um, just people selling off. Maybe, you know, maybe some huge holders were selling off cryptocurrencies. I'm not exactly sure because this didn't this didn't just translate to Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin. This, this went through cryptocurrency in general. The whole entire market was affected. I mean, Ether went to uh, from 4,200. It dipped down to 3,650 yesterday at 4 p.m. So Ether was affected as well. Um, and for those of you guys know who've been following my channel, you guys know that I bought some Ether. I bought an entire uh, Ether yes, uh, ETH last weekend for about 3,500. And I was up seven on that. Uh, actually, it was 3,600 and I was up six on it at that point, actually. And then it just dipped, but it made a recovery. And now it's kind of looming around between the 39 and 4,000 range. And, uh, you know, same kind of pattern going with most other cryptocurrencies. Um, we got Bitcoin Cash, obviously, guys. I'm pretty sure it's 99% of you hear about Bitcoin Cash. Uh, and I mean, once we saw that 1198 dip, then we've been floating around 1300s consistently. Uh, I believe we broke for no, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't even break 1400. 1391 was the highest point that I got to after that. Uh, but it did make a recovery. Good, good for that. All cryptocurrencies really did make that recovery. Uh, let's see what happened to Doge actually. I'm excited to see what happened with Doge. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go over here and see. So Doge resting at 48 cents right now. Uh, but yesterday it went down to 46, 42. I mean, Doge really wasn't affected actually too bad. So uh, that's interesting. But realistically, a lot of the other cryptocurrencies, um, you know, took a big hit. But now now it's we're, we have a steady recovery. Um, ETH's up 2.3% today. Bitcoin's up 0.26%. Doge is up 2.9%. Ethereum Classic's up 6 6.8%. Bitcoin Cash is up 1.34%. So we're not really seeing... <coughs> um, 
you know, any more drops for the day uh, as of now, but, you know, it's going to be fluctuating, I'm assuming. Uh, we could see some spikes again because it could have just been, um, excuse me one second, it could have been big time holders selling off and taking and liquidating, or it could have been fear driven liquidation. Um, but that bringing the price down opens the eyes for a lot of other investors. And especially for people like, uh, like me who understand that this is just a huge discount on these assets. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to buy. I think I'm getting to a comfortable point with like my main assets, like Bitcoin cash, uh, and ether and, um, I don't want to say Doge, <laughs> but Bitcoin Cash and Ether, I'm kind of comfortable with where I'm at right now. I kind of don't want to make any more investments uh, into that. I think that if, you know, it returns the way that I hope it will uh, and feel like it will, then I think I'm probably pretty comfortably resting on with my with my profits. So I'm OK with that. But I am looking into more like second level coins and assets uh, on on Coinbase and uh, Binance. And what I've been doing is I've been researching a lot of the other more newer coins and assets that have been coming in. And, you know, a lot of them have a lot of upside potential. A lot of them run on the Ether ecosystem. Um, but there are other assets that I do like that are just completely separate. So um, definitely want to go more over those. But I don't know if I'm going to do it on my mainstream channel. I think a bunch of them I'm going to sign. Like I said, I was, I've been talking about how I'm going to open up a Patreon and it's going to be about $5 a month and you're going to get access to all of my non standard crypto investments. Um, and you're going to get buy and sell alerts. Excuse me for scratching my eye. It's so early here, guys. It's like 8am. Um, but you're going to get my buy and sell alerts, you're going to get pretty much uh, anything, any update that I, uh, have regarding like just an interest in a, a new crypto, uh, any notes that I take, any news articles that I find interesting, like I'll be putting in a lot of information on that. And with just a $5 a month subscription, you'll be able to have full access to that. Um, that being said, I also want to apologize for this ugly backdrop. I thought it was going to look a lot better, but, um, I just, uh, my old one, for those of you who've been around here, the, the panels just kept falling down. Um, and I just kind of got sick of that. So put this up temporarily. I'm actually going to order one from Amazon. I'm going to order a nice new backdrop and it's going to look a lot sexier than this. So hopefully that will be uh, mended soon. But um, yeah, that is definitely um, one thing that needs to get done soon because I don't really like the color of this. You guys let me know what you think. Um, but other than that, guys, cryptocurrencies, you know, I wouldn't fret too much. You guys know I'm long on it. And uh, if you guys share the same mindset that I do, uh, we know that this is just a flash sale. It's just it's just part of it. It's going through the motions, you know. Again, even even so that we've dipped so much yesterday at four o'clock, we're still not anywhere near the prices that we were earlier this year or, you know, late last year. You know, these prices is just a dip from the highs that we're getting used to now. So if that puts any ease of mind uh, for you today, then I hope then no, I hope that helps. But I wouldn't really, uh, I wouldn't worry too much, guys. I really wouldn't worry too much, and you know, hold strong, and you know, I'll see you guys on the moon. Catch you in the next video.